This is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, it's going to be just me and Lee. Hello, Lee. <laughs> oh, dude, that's uh, very close to get to me. Oh, God, especially when you got morning breath, Lee. Oh, God, I hope you're not going to go to a dentist like that, are you? <laughs> oh, dear, how are you doing today, Lee? If you're feeling good to get, uh, today, then do a cartwheel. Good attempt, good attempt, Lee, good attempt. <laughs> I can see that you're uh, you're trying to uh, be good today. Uh, anyway, I am going to be good today so long as I have my breakfast. And my breakfast, as always, is going to be a cake. <gasps> nom, 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 There we go, and one slice left. And let's go outside now, and let's go and play the, uh, the Hop and Splash Mark II. And uh, you know what, Lee? I think that today is going to be the day. And by the day, I mean the day where not you, not me, but both of us are able to do the hop and splash mark two. Are you ready, Lee? Can you do it? Do you think we can do it? Are we going to make it? Are we going to do all the hops? No, come on, Lee. Let's get some positivity. There we go. We can do it. Of course we can do it. We can do anything we set our minds to. <laughs> right, Lee. Take it away. Why are you all worked up? Go. Do the hops. Go on, Lee. Come on. You can do it. Big run up. Big jump. Yeah. Perfect. He managed to get the first hop. Right. Now you just need to get all of the others. Oh, he failed on the second one. Oh, well, Lee, doesn't matter. <laughs> right, it's my go. My go. I can do it. I can do it. Think big. Think big. Think bouncy. Think of sp think of springs. Think of rubber. Think of trampolines. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Big jump. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. I think I thought of a, a bowling ball. Oh, what's this? Oh, do you, do, you, do you want another go then, Lee? Right, there we go. That was the practice go. That was just a warm up. Right, no one was looking. No, no one saw that, did they, Lee? Right, let's have another go then. Let's pretend this is our first go. Okay, Lee, take it away. The hop and splash. Your first attempt. And oh no, <laughs> Esther fell down. <laughs> Luckily, Esther can can go and flutter down. See, that's what we need. We need wings. This would be easy if we had wings. Right, here we go. Lee's doing actually pretty well here. Only else that four more hops to go. Oh, he did the difficult one. Right, Lee. No spinning. No funny business. Just good sensible old-fashioned hops there we go and he did it yes this might actually be the day okay i need to do it as well now right let's actually remember to jump this time shall we big jump there we go i made the first one this is the one i always struggle on though oh i made this one and the next one here we go we might actually both be able to do it here big jump and oh no i failed on this one i was so close i hate this game i hate this stupid game i'm so rubbish at it <laughs> Ah, oh dear. Well done, though, Lee. Well done. That was amazing. You did really well there. Sadly, I didn't do quite as well. Uh, anyway, while we're here, though, uh, I might as well add someone to the love garden. Uh, at the beginning of all of my videos, uh, I look at someone's name on a sign and say thank you to them for some reason. And, uh, yeah, today I am going to be adding... Uh, Livy Rezola. Rezola? Uh, Livy Rezola. I think that's how you pronounce her name. You can see it on the sign there. And uh, that's because she has the most adorable stampy cat dress I have ever seen. And I've not seen many stampy dresses, but uh, this one was amazing. You can see there my face on her, as well as lots of little cakes there around the, uh, the edge as well. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to say thank you very much for sending me the picture. And welcome to my love garden. And uh, if you want to be added to the love garden, there's only one rule. You are not allowed to ask to be added to the love garden. If you ask, then you're not even in consideration. So <laughs> if you want to be added, just do something cool, creative or fun. And uh, if I like it, uh, then yeah, I'm going to go and put your name in the love garden and you can join everyone else uh, that has already been added. Uh, anyway, talking of joining us, who should we take today? Do you want to pick? Go stand next to whatever sign uh, you want uh, me to take or well, whichever dog you want me to take. Uh, he wants Sherbet, and why not Sherbet? Sherbet should be right down here. How are you doing today? Are you good, boy? Are you happy? He doesn't sound very happy, does he? But then again, uh, my dogs never sound very happy. They used to be so cheery. They used to jump around, barking with joy and being so happy. And now they just growl and sometimes bite my friend. I don't know what's getting into them. I'm sure something's affecting them. I'm sure that there's something controlling them or something making them play up. Because I know my dogs and I know my dogs wouldn't normally be like that. Uh, anyway, uh, the reason we're heading over here is because we are going to the Loose Tooth Dentist. Uh, which is the dentist we've been building in the last uh, couple episodes. And today... 
is the grand opening. We've got a big ribbon here, which is going to be cut by a very special person. The person that's going to be in charge of the loose tooth. And that is, of course, the Tooth Fairy. And uh, I told her to, to show up here uh, at this time, but I can't see her anywhere around here. Can you see her, Lee? Can you see the, the Tooth Fairy anywhere around here? Is she, um down this way some I have no idea where she is is she over there anyway oh here she is oh Lee Lee she's flying of course she's flying she's a fairy I forgot fairies can fly hello to fairy I have a very special surprise for you I know you don't know why I bought you here but I have been hard at work building you your very own dentist and this is it right here. And as seen as uh, we built this for you, and you are our um, our special guest, I was wondering, do you want to do the honours and uh, cut the ribbon for us? And by cut the ribbon, I mean punch the ribbon until it breaks. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, this is kind of the best we can do. Here we go. The uh, loose tooth dentist is now open. So go on in and uh, have a look around the uh, tooth fairy. And uh, of course, as uh, most of you know, uh, the tooth fairy goes and takes uh, teeth that have fallen out uh, from under your pillow and puts money there. But she needs to get the money somehow. So this is basically the tooth fairy's day job. And look, you've got some magazines there, tooth fairy, uh, that uh, people can read. And uh, in here, there's your little aquarium. There's a little fish down there. That fish is called Fishy Fish 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 is his name. And that one there is called Fishy Fishy Fish 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 Fish. Okay, so yeah, I've named them all. <laughs> uh, and if you come through here, this is where all of the uh, the dentistry actually happens. Uh, you can see I've got the uh, the top of the range dentist chair here. Working light, you can switch that on and off. All of your uh, apparatus that are in this chest here. Got your standard uh, pickaxes, some floss there, mouthwash. Uh, looks like a toothpick up there as well as some, some gold teeth. All of that's in there. Um, all nicely organised. Um, a basin here, um, which is for basing -y stuff like water and things like that. Lovely. Um, <laughs> uh, down here's your computer and uh, you can play Minecraft on that as well as probably doing some work every now and then. But the best thing is through here which is your very own office. And you've got your, your own bodyguard here <laughs> in case someone tries to steal all of the teeth. And uh, you can come in here. You can see we've got the uh, the carpet matches your skin. Uh, we've got some mushrooms here because I know how much you love mushrooms. I know that you've uh, spent most of your life living in a mushroom. So <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Oh, look, you've even got some mushroom stew on you. There we go. <laughs> I guess I knew right. And uh, behind here... This is storage for all of your, your spare teeth. Um, I don't have many teeth in there at the moment, but I thought you probably have more teeth than me. So uh, that's where you can store all of your teeth. And in here is where you can got the uh, the money that you can go and give to everyone. There we go. And look, you've got some teeth on you already. So you can store them uh, in this chest up here if you want to. So uh, this is it. This is your, your very own dentist. Do you like it too, fairy? Uh, are you happy with it? Yay! She's happy with it. So um, I guess we're, we'll leave you to, to get settled and um, get to, to work, I guess. And we're going to go outside and play this. <laughs> oh dear, you are going to love this game. Let me show you this. Let me hop outside here. Uh, Sherbet, you can follow me. You can come and watch the game from uh, outside here. Basically... I have built these monstrosities, and I know they look weird, but <laughs> they just make me laugh. That's basically supposed to be a big Lee Bear's face there, looking very smiley. And uh, over here, there's a big stampy cat. And oh, looks like um, looks like one of your little buttons have fallen off there. Let me go and plonk that back down there. Uh, so yeah, basically, this is supposed to be us. It looks a little bit like us, not too much. Come stand next to me, Lee. Let's go and let's go and compare. Uh, it's pretty similar. You just look um. Yeah, you just look a little bit more smiley in the, the big version. And uh, the way the game works is we need to come inside of this pen over here and we lock ourselves in. And you can watch from in there too, Fairy. You can watch and you can uh, cheer on whoever you want to win. <laughs> so me and Lee will hop inside here and we need to shoot arrows. And if we shoot arrows and it hits the buttons, then uh, the teeth are going to drop away and it's going to be the first person to get rid of all of their teeth uh, is going to win. And uh, in the chest here, uh, there are some spare arrows. And I'm actually going to use this bow instead of my own bow. Uh, because that one's enchanted and got flame on. And uh, makes it really difficult to see. And so basically, that's all we need to do. Are you ready, Lee? Do you, do you understand the game? Right, let's play uh, the loose tooth game. We will begin in three, two, one. Shoot the teeth. And oh, Lee's starting already. I haven't even finished aiming yet and he's already firing. Looks like he's going for a rapid fire. 
And uh, the game works a little bit weird. When you shoot the uh, the button, it doesn't disappear immediately. Uh, it actually disappears a little bit later. So what you need to do is you shoot the button and that dispenses uh, a little bit of dirt from a dispenser that's underneath. And then that hits a pressure plate. And then once the, uh, the arrow disappears, uh, the teeth drops down. But because it's firing out of dispensers, the, uh, the tooth that you shoot isn't always the tooth that drops down. And so as you can see, I have teeth dropping <laughs> all over the place here. And um, yeah, they're not even the um, the ones I was shooting. So it's a little bit random. You need to get lucky uh, as well as being accurate. But this way, it's just a little bit more fun. So I was very lucky and got a great start. I think I was able to, to hit that one there as well. So uh, you don't want to shoot too much though. Uh, because as I said, if the arrow is on the button, then that tooth isn't going to, to drop down. But I'm not sure. It's really hard to see. I'm not sure whether I've hit either of those two on the far left. I'm pretty sure I hit those two on the right. But I'm not sure if I've hit any on the on the far left. So even though it looks like I'm doing much better than Lee at the moment, because I've had two teeth drop down. There we go. Once his start disappearing, his are going to start dropping down already. And look at my smile. <laughs> look how ridiculous I look with those three teeth. God, I look so crazy. And look at Lee there with just his one tooth drop down. That looks absolutely ridiculous. Isn't this a funny game too, fairies? Isn't this just such a silly game? I thought you might approve though, because it's all about teeth. <laughs> She's just looking at these big teeth going, oh, I'd love to have those. I don't know why the Tooth Fairy likes teeth so much. I don't know why she wants to collect them. I guess there's just, uh, it just has a special place in her heart. And I think that was a good hit there. I think I was able to, to hit that one. And uh, let me see if I'm going to be able to hit this one here. It looks like all of the arrows have disappeared on these ones, uh, but they, uh, the teeth didn't drop down. And uh, some of the teeth uh, might start lifting back up again. Uh, but if the uh, the teeth lift up but they don't have a button on, uh, it's still going to count because after a while uh, the uh, the game resets itself. And I think I think I did hit all of three of them. So all I need to do now is wait for those arrows to disappear, and then hopefully uh, the teeth are going to drop down, and I might be able to win. And I want to win uh, because whoever wins the game uh, is going to be able to to go over to the uh, the fun land where we both will go, and they're going to pick a game for us to play, just any game, uh, just for fun. So uh, I know what game I want to play and I want to win uh, just to make sure that we do get to play it and Lee looks like he's shooting a lot of arrows I don't know how many he's hitting uh, but we're drawing at the moment we've both got uh, three teeth that have dropped down but I'm hoping uh, that once these arrows start disappearing these teeth are going to start dropping down but this one didn't I'm going to have to go and try and shoot that button again if I can. And uh, hopefully uh, then that tooth's going to drop down. I think that was a good hit there, but that one didn't drop down. Let me shoot that one. Oh, I'm getting really good hits here. And there we go. That one's dropped down. I've had one tooth drop down. There's only two left. So tell you what, Lee, I'm going to set a timer for one minute. And whoever has got the most teeth dropped down after the minute is going to be the winner. Because I'm not sure whether we're good enough to make them <laughs> to make them all drop down. I'm hoping, though, that once these two arrows uh, drop down there, once they disappear, then and those teeth are going to go. But oh no, it looks like we're drawing. It looks like we're drawing at the moment. We both got two teeth up and I got 40 seconds left on my timer. Let's go and see how good Lee's doing. I don't want to fire any more arrows because if I fire any more arrows, uh, they might get stuck on the button, which is going to delay it even more. I just like looking at them. I just like looking at how silly Stampy Cat looks like with just two big goofy teeth there at the front. <laughs> I think Lee might be doing the same as me. I think he's waiting to see whether the... um. Uh, whether the arrows are gonna uh, disappear and then the uh, the teeth are gonna drop. There's only 15 seconds left, Lee. And oh no! Oh no, looks like one of Lee's teeth has dropped. One of Lee's teeth has dropped. Oh no, I, I got, only got nine seconds. And oh no, this one didn't drop. I think Lee's gonna win. I think Lee's gonna win. I can try and shoot as much as I want, but I think it's gonna be too little, too late. Are either of those teeth gonna drop? Are they not gonna do it? Nope. That is time up. That is time up, which means Lee won the loose tooth game. <laughs> Neither of us were able to get rid of all of the tooth. <laughs> uh, all of the teeth, but Lee only had one left. And oh, there it goes! Lee, your final tooth dropped. You are the winner officially anyway. Look at your smile. <laughs> Look at your big smile without any teeth. <laughs> oh, the tooth fairy wouldn't approve that. And sadly, I had two teeth left, so I didn't do very well there. <laughs> I might just go and try and get rid of them anyway. And just see what I would look like without any teeth. <laughs> right, anyway, um, Tooth Fairy, we're going to head over to the Funland and play another game. And uh, I'll leave you in there just to, to go and carry on working and uh, getting everything in order. Let's just go and press the buttons then, shall we? And uh, see if the uh, the tooth's going to drop down. I need to pick up the arrows and uh, is it going to drop down? There we go. So that's what I look like. Oh, it's popped straight back up again, though. If I just... um. 
uh, throw something down there. Oh, there we go. He's got rid of it anyway. There we go. So that's what I look like without any teeth, and that's what Lee looks like. <laughs> oh, we look so silly. Anyway, let's go very quickly then over to the uh, the fun land. And uh, Lee, I guess I guess you need to lead the way uh, because you are going to be picking which game uh, we're going to play. So it needs to be uh, a two-player game. To be honest, I like pretty much every game in my fun land. So uh, whatever, I guess we're we're both going to be winners. But I don't know. Maybe the song that Lee particularly wants to to play today. And uh, seen as he won the uh, loose tooth game, I guess he's allowed to decide. And we're gonna have to watch out for all of the uh, the googlies on our way as well. And where's he going? Is he going to the golf course? Maybe the uh, the dunking booth, the helter skelter? No, he doesn't want to ride the helter skelter. Oh, I think he's going to this one. Is this the game you want to play? He wants to play the ugly duck fling, and this is cool. We haven't played this game in a, in a long while, so this might be a uh, quite good fun. All right, let's take rid of uh, take out some of the googlies, and uh, let's go to the chest here. And uh, we need to go and grab uh, a few fishing rods and uh, we're gonna go up top and I'm gonna explain how the how the game works So uh, we both need to go up in the the middle here And uh, the aim of the game is to fling the ducks from one side to the other So you can see in this pen There's a bunch of ducks and in this pen There's some more ducks and you need to fling the ducks from your side into the other person's side So whoever's got the least duck in their side wins. so this can be your side down here Lee and this is going to be my side here. I'm going to do it so we have two minutes on the clock. And whoever's got their least ducks in their side at the end is going to win. So let's begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. I have started the timer. So you need to use the fishing rod. You need to try and hook a duck just like that. And then you fling them. You're literally flinging ducks around. It's such a fun, silly game. <laughs> We've played lots of fun, silly games today, haven't we? And I'm getting some good swings here, but I'm not getting any close to his side. You need to kind of try and fling it, and then you want to step back and then pull. But you want to be very careful, because if you drop down in the water, then you're out. Then you get disqualified. So you've got to be very carefully, careful not to, to slip down off the, the edge here. And I want to try and fling this one. All of them are getting quite close to the, the fence, which kind of makes them hard to, um, to, to grab, but it might actually make it easier to get them over the fence because they have uh, less far to go and you can see them fluttering their feathers like absolute crazy good their wings are going mental <laughs> oh dear. I'm not sure if I've actually got any over uh, to his side I think we might be just about even there's one duck there which I keep being able to get if I can try and fling it then grab it again quickly I might be able to get it across there we go I've grabbed it again and fling it again there we go I think I did it I think that might have gone across onto um onto Lee's side maybe there let me try and fling this one here see if I can pull it across and then the yeah, look, you can see they're all stuck there right by the fence. So let me just try and pull them out to the middle a little bit more. And then if I grab it again and now fling it, now fling it. There we go. I think I got it across there. I did a, a nice volley there on that duck. That was quite good. This one's moving across into the middle. Another big fling. We've only got 40 seconds left on the clock, Lee. We've got to fling as fast as we can. Another big fling. Can I grab this one again? Can I fling this one across? I'm going to go and grab it. I'm going to go all the way over here and do a big jump fling. Maybe get it really high. I think I got it high, but I didn't get it far enough back. I don't know who's going to win here. I don't know who's going to win. I don't feel like I've done very good, but I've no idea how well Lee's done. Or right, let me just go crazy in the last few seconds and just start flinging all over the place. Can I grab that one again as it drops? There we go. Oh, I almost got it. I almost got it there. Come on, it's so close, so close. Just there. Right, I grabbed it. And if I fling it, then try and fling it again really quick. Oh no, it just about flew out the way. They seem to be knowing that I'm going for them, and they keep trying to fly back as far as they can. There we go. That was quite a big fling, but this is time up. Time up, Lee. Stop your flinging. Stop your flinging, Lee. <laughs> right, we need to count them up. And uh, see who won. So in Lee's pen, he has, let me try and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in my pen, I have one, two, three, four, five. I think that is. Let me just count again. One, two, three, four, five. Which means I think that I am the winner. Let me just double check. So one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm the winner. So I have five in my pen, and Lee has seven in his pen, which means I won the ugly duck thing. So that's good. So Lee won the first game. Lee won the uh, the loose tooth game, and then I won the ugly duck thing, which means we are both winners. But then again. Lee did do better on the hop and splash. So I guess overall, Lee can be the winner of this video. So well done, Lee. <laughs> Sadly, though, uh, that is the uh, the end of this video here as well. And the next episode, I'm going to be probably heading back over to my fun land to build a brand new mini game. So make sure you come back to check that out. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later.